otters, seals and sea lions are all descended from an ancient group of hunting mammals that were tempted into the water to become fishermen. But they've retained very much the character of their ancestors. They're fierce and aggressive. But what about the early plant-eating mammals? Well, they too went into the water about 35 million years ago because there's quite a lot of water plants, particularly in shallow freshwater. And they too have retained the character of their ancestors. They're gentle graces. And here, in the warm, clear waters of the Florida creeks, they still are. Manatee. They're so completely at home in the water that, oh, that they never leave it. Oh dear. Oh. I suppose her little halitosis is what you'd expect from all those leaves, but whew, that's a bit strong. But what were those vegetarian ancestors? No one really knows. Some characteristics link manatees to elephants, in particular their teeth. These, like those of elephants, are flat grinding molars. As they're worn down by the coarse grass, they're replaced by new ones that erupt at the back of the jaw and slowly move forward. Manatees are so big that nothing much attacks them. And with plenty of vegetation there for the taking, there's no need for them to be swift swimmers. Their forelimbs have become short flippers that can be used as paddles or to gently punt along the bottom. They still carry nails, vestiges of their terrestrial past. Their hind legs have disappeared altogether and they propel themselves on their leisurely cruises with slow, powerful sweeps of their huge tails. Their bristly upper lip is so well muscled that they can use it to grasp leaves, rip them up and push them into their mouth. So they have quiet, gentle lives trundling across the shallow submarine pastures. Their other name is Sea Cow, and very appropriate it is too. <laughs>